Tabakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shay, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shay, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shay. First and foremost, I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakapadash, the Blanus of the Apostles and Elders who rule by that bread and stone, and a blessed salutation to the Akyums, and the four card of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. This evening, I want to do a lesson on this article, right? It's an Ethiopian pastor killed by a crocodile during lake baptism, right? You understand? It's a, it's a reptile fatally mulled creature as he, as he dumped it, believer, in Lake, in Lake Abaya, right? So, you know, the most I are putting you wicked bosses to death. Because this is not how the way you, 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 you cleanse somebody from the sins. The true baptism is spiritual, which is taking heed to the war, which is repenting. And turn back to the last statue and commandment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to your best ability. That is the true baptism. Right? Not ducking in no water. Right? And we're going to prove it through the scripture. The true baptism is taking heed to the word. Right? It's repenting from your wicked ways and turn back to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That is the true baptism. Right? They say a pastor has died after a crocodile mule him. As he baptized believer in the lake in Ethiopia, is a Protestant minister, Diko S S S she S she ta S she too was conducting a mass baptism on the shore of of Lake Abaya near the town of Aba Mitch. In the southwestern part of of the country, when the reptile attacked him, right. So if you do, if this, if there was a righteous act, you know the boss I want to send this this um send this crack light to, to to kill you. This clearly shows that this is this is a wicked act. Because the most I tell you, yo, John the Baptist said, "He that cometh after me, I selaki, I indeed baptize you with water, but he that cometh after me." That's roughly paraphrased. They will baptize you with the fire and the Holy Spirit. Right? And the fire and the Holy Spirit is the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We're going to prove that. Right? But it's Yahweh Bashem Yahushai send this beast. Right? To kill. To kill you wicked pastor. Kill the wicked pastor. Right? The Mosai send that beast. Right? And the most I can start to turn up on all you wicked bastards like TJ Jake, Prefer Dollar, Joe Steve. You know, the most I can start to turn up on you wicked bastards. Right? Just a matter of time. Right? The most I can start to turn up on all you wicked bastards. Um. Verse 3. Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 3. He said, And I will appoint over thee four kinds, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, the fowl, the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the feet of the earth to devour and destroy. Right, so the Mosai who send this crocodile to, to kill the pastor. Right? The Mosai is who is killed and make a life. Right? So the Mosai killed that pastor. Right? You people want to teach you lies all, all, the, all the days of your life, leading the Mosai people astray. We got, got Israelites in Ethiopia too. Right? Israelite, Israelite was scattered in four on the earth, so they have Israelites that are living in Ethiopia too. We got elects, the elect will be coming out of Ethiopia too. Right? First number two and six, the Lord kill it. Right? And make a life. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. So the Mosai put his boss to death. Right? The Mosai put it to death. Right? This is Proverbs chapter 13 verse 30. Whoso despise the word shall be destroyed. He despises the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushai never said, won't baptize nobody in no lake. 
where crocodile dwelt, right? Whoso despise the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded, right? So this negative fear, fear the heavenly father. So the father sent a beast to destroy him, right? Most I send his beast to destroy him, right? Um, let me go back to the article, right? It's um, yeah, it's a local resident, um, Ke, Ke, Ke Tima, um, Carrillo told BBC the Arabic language service, the Arabic yeah, language service that the Sunday afternoon ceremony had just begun when the incident occurred. He baptized the first person and he passed on onto the other one. He said all of a sudden a crocodile jumped out of the lake and grabbed and grabbed it, the pastor. So the Heavenly Father Yah washing me say send the send the beast, Jeremiah five and three. Fifteen and three Salaki Salakia. Right? Despite the best effort of the um, for for rich parishioners, parishioners and bystanders, the pastor was bitten on his legs, back and arms and and could not be saved. So the most I put it put it put it to death. Right? He said nearby fisher, fishermen used their net to to re, to retrieve the body before the crocodile could drag him further into the lake. Right? It's a lake Abaya. One of Ethiopia's largest lake is known to have a huge a huge crocodile. You gotta be a madman to go and baptize people. It's already most I put you put it to death. You understand? Because you're leading the people astray, you're leading the Israelites astray. Alright? Sometimes you could be an Israelite to the spirit, you know? You understand? You're leading the Israelites astray. Astray because that's not that's not how the Lord command you to baptize, right? You understand? It's um, it's a lake Abaya, one of Ethiopia's largest lake, is known to have a huge crocodile's population, according to Ethiopian news site. Despite a lack of state media coverage, news of the gruesome accident spread rapidly after eyewitness share their accounts on social media the site say so the most i put this nigga to death right and that's really most i can do to all you niggas you pastors you fast you fast prophets right this really have the father do to you because you teach a rebellion right against the hour washing me that's not how we set up baptized people right i mean going to the precepts right edify the church of yahweh this is Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, right? But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, who shoe I am not worthy to bear. He, which is Yahweh Shai, the Holy Holy God, Jesus, shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's how you're going to be baptized. So let me see what's the Holy Spirit. Right? Let me see with the Holy Spirit. Right? Let me see with the Holy Spirit. Right? So lock here. Let's have to spell this out. Right? Let me see with the Holy Spirit. Moses is not the art of confusion. He didn't do the Moses is here, he put it to death. This is John chapter 6, verse 3. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So the words, the words of this, this Bible, the words of this Bible are spirit. So this is the words, right? He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are alive right so the word is the spirit so by this word you're gonna be healed 
by this word you're gonna be baptized. This word is the this word is the is the holy water. This word is the water, and I can prove it too, right? The word is water. This word, the scriptures, is the, is the holy water, right? It's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh, which is the Holy Spirit, the scriptures, this is the holy water. This will gonna wash your mind from filthiness. This will gonna cleanse your spirit. The word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh, is gonna heal you. This is the true baptism. Right? This is the true baptism. So we go back to Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. Right? This is Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He which is Yahweh Shai, who dwelleth with the God Jesus, shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And we, and we just show us the Holy Spirit. John 6, 63, the words, the scriptures is the Holy Spirit. And with fire. So let me see what's the fire. Because a man can't take fire in his bosom. So it's not talking about fire, jumping fire. Yeah, you're gonna burn you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna burn to death right so let me see with the fire right let me see with the fire according to the scriptures right there's jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14 he said wherefore thus said the lord yahweh bashem yahweh shai power host because he speak this word behold i will make my words in thy mouth fire so the word is fire. The word is honey. The words, the the words, the words is the water. The word is the oil. The word is the blood. Right? This is the word. Right? Jeremiah 5 and 40. Wherefore thus thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai power of hosts. Because he speak this word. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would. And it shall devour them. That's why when you speak, when we speak this word, Yahweh Hashem, your life will get heated, heated and offended. So the most high words is fire, right? It's fire, right? How shall a young man cleanse his way, right? You understand? So you, that's why the most high put a put put a wicked nigga to death, right? Moshe put a wicked nigga to death. This is um, Psalms 119 verse 9. Wherewith how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there to according to thy word. That's how you're going to cleanse your mind from wicked ways. From your wicked thoughts. That's how you're going to cleanse your deeds. You know? By, if it used to be, if it used to be eating pork, pork is abomination. You read. You read Leviticus 11 and 7 going down there, 11, 11 4 going down, right? And you see that, hey, the abomination, you, the word tell the abomination, you stop it. You do what the word say. The, the word is what's cleanse your spirit, not ducking in water, not ducking in water. The most I tell you in, in, um, in um, Jeremiah that, a matter of fact, let me get it, right? So the water you have wash him, you it was cleanse you. I think it's 22. Jeremiah 2, 22. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 22. For though he wash thee with nitri, and take thee much soap, yet thy iniquity is marked before me, said the Lord, you have wash him, you have So the water not going to cleanse you. The, the physical water not going to cleanse you. It's the spiritual water, which is the water Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? There's the spirit. There's the spiritual water. There's what cleanse you, right? It's by the word. It's by the water Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You has been baptized, right? It's always be baptized, right? This is Acts chapter two, verse thirty-eight. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach for the remission of sins, 
and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You're going to receive the gift of what? The understanding. Right? You understand? Turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Submit yourself. Humble yourself. For the promise is unto you and to, and to your children and to all that are afar off. They show that Israel is scattered afar off. Right? They show that Israel is scattered afar off. Straight cut for you reprobates too. Even as many as the Lord the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, our power, shall call, and with many other words, and with many other words, this meaning scriptures, did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourself from this unto world generation. Then they that gladly received his word, the scriptures, were baptized. They were baptized. We just read in Psalms 119, verse 9. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there too, according to thy word. Scriptures. Right? Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day, they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. That are baptized. Right? They got it baptized by what? Taking heed to the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? Not talking in those stinking crocodile, um, crocodile pan. It's where the most I put a nigga to death, right? Um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Yahweh I came and speak unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Came to his disciples. Go he therefore and teach all nations. We just read in Acts, Apostle Peter said, And they that is far off. Because the Israelite was scattered in all nations. So when he said all nations, speaking about the Israelite who scattered among these heathen. Right? So go he therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, which is Yahweh, and of the Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world going to God, Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit, which is the Word. This is how you baptize them. Not the doctrine no water. You teach them the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The name of the Father is Yahweh, and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. That's the true Hebrew name. And the Holy Spirit is the Scriptures. They give them the understanding of what they're supposed to do, what they're not supposed to do. And that they have to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 20 Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you in the Scriptures. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So let it be. Amen. So, amen. Me, so let it be. Right? So that's how that's how you're baptized today. Right? So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai put this nigga to death. I praise this to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? You go in a lake, a crocodile lake to baptize people. And you 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 people are simple. Right? You Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, who do this baptism by, by physical water. Y'all are simple. Y'all don't know the scriptures. Right? And the most I can turn the heat on you wicked pastors and you wicked prophets out there. Right? You know, with that, Hope Testament is edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams in the four candy oil to push in the gospel and sincerity in Jude Shalom.